Hey YouTube, this is Miss Mia 416. I'm coming to you because I did an eyeshadow look today using my LA Colors Glittery Started Eyeshadow Palette. And mostly like the blues. And also, I, I'm doing a review on my Clinique. Um, the day, remember, I told you I was going to do a um, three to four day review on it. I'm doing a review on that. So, to get my look for my, um, today, I use my Glittery Started Eyelid Palette. And in, that's in Ginger. So, you see it has all the... This is my first time using this one. Hmm. So, this is going to be look number one since I have like eight of them. <laughs> so, it has like all of those colors in there. I also used um, a couple of browns out of my LA Colors Precious palette. Those two at the top. You can see. These two. The darker ones. Also, I had used LA Colors um, eyeliner in navy, and I used Nick um, Nick NK eyeliner in black for my eyes. And for my lips, I used first I coated it with the um, NYX lip balm thing. Then I used Nostalgic. And that's in my Elf Essentials lipstick. It's like a really cute initial. Cute. And I used um, LA Colors lip liner in brown. Like a light brown. It says nude. I'm like, does it say a color? Okay. <laughs> then I used um, Max. Not Mac. Max. From these past the little shimmer um, lip gloss. It's like a bluish tint to it. If you could almost look. It gives it like a bluish tint. And it was really pretty. So I'm like that looks cute over it. So I use that. Now. They are very pigment. If you watch my tutorial video. Which will, is still downloading. Which will be up in like probably. I don't know. Man, but it will be up soon. If you want to go and watch the tutorial on this makeup. Um, you can do that. They are very pigment, pig, pigmented, as you see on the video. Like I had like um, stuff all everywhere because it was just falling. So it's very pigmented. So that's a good thing. Um. Also, I need to do a review on the Clinique makeup that I had purchased. Like I think it was about now. I think it's like about almost a week now. And that was the perfectly real compact makeup. Now, originally, I was a tint 146G. I had put that tint on, and the first one I, I like I said, it, it, it definitely oxidizes. Because so the first time I had used it, it was like really, really, basically perfect. It, I mean, it was like a, it was, it was really nice to my skin tone, and I it. I really like that. I mean, it's not heavy. It wasn't heavy. It wasn't anything wrong with it. Anything like that. It's just that that tint oxidizes. And so it was like really too dark for me. Like after like about, I think about six to seven hours, I started getting orangey like on areas of my face. I was like orangey, like really, really orangey. And I felt like a Uta Lupa or something. <laughs> I know I say that a lot, but that's what you look like when the makeup is like really really orange so and then I actually looked at one of my videos that I had posted and I didn't know like then I looked if I felt like I looked at orange then but oh well it's up there now but <laughs> but anyway so I had used um that foundation so what I did was I ended up taking it back and I didn't I didn't I liked the product I liked the product I just didn't like the the tint choice that she had chosen for me so I ended up getting a lighter shade which was a 144N and at first I had a 140, um, 146G and the N is like a tint 
lighter than that. And I've been wearing this for like about three to four days now. And actually, it, it really it oxidizes like I said but when it oxidizes it's like my perfect shade then so I mean when I first put it on it feels like a little bit like a little 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 bit too light but it's not light to the point where you can see it like I just put it on now and this is how it looks but what I've noticed what I do now like she said that you can use this as a setting powder, powder but I actually like setting it with my CoverGirl Queen um, Lasting Mate Press Powder because for some reason this this stuff is good. Like I I use this stuff and it's like I can wear my makeup for like several hours and I my skin don't feel oily, my skin don't look shiny, my skin don't look. It still it looks like I had just like I actually have nothing on and I so I really like this stuff like I use this with my CoverGirl Queen foundation also I use it with this foundation so I mean this is actually a really good and I think this one was like when I bought it was about one going half I think it was like probably seven ninety nine or something like that I don't even remember but I use this all the time and like I wear this makeup and actually I think I set my face like. I actually forget to set my face because it doesn't look like anything's wrong with makeup. So I probably set my face probably like twice in a day. Like honestly. I swear to God. So this is some good stuff. And this is some good stuff. And it doesn't like irritate my skin. It hasn't broke me out. It hasn't did any of that any of that. So and when I use it like as you see on the video, I use like put in areas with the pad and I blend it out. So that's how I use this. And I still I'm still rotating though. I still love my cover girl queen though. Don't get me wrong. I still love it. Um also when I was at the Clinique counter, what she had did was and I really like this, it was a um a shimmering like a um uh what's that called? Coloring colored foundation, a tinted foundation I mean. And she was telling me about, like, because I told her I, I don't really like a lot of heavy makeup. So she was like, you know what, why don't you try this? Because I, she was like, she wears this in the summertime. And also she wears this um, when she doesn't want to wear any makeup. And it's a tinted foundation. Um, so it's not really like a color, it goes on like a sheer, but it gives you coverage, like a, for, um, a fluorescent type of thing. And... I didn't buy any because they had my the one I needed in stock. So what she did was she gave me a sample of it, and it's actually a lot of sample. Like you can get so many uses out of this little bitty bottle that she gave me. Cause I actually used it last night to try it out, and it actually was really really light. It was really nice, but I didn't wear it a long time. I just wanted to put it on to see how it looked on me. <laughs> so I can't really give a review on that how this is yet. Yeah. But what I did was all I used what was in the top. I didn't even use pour anything else. I used just actually dab my my foundation brush what was on the top of it. And that's actually what I used. Like, no lie. And it like covered my whole face. So I will be trying this out and doing a review on this because if not, I would definitely go back and get it. It's only like twenty six dollars and with the coupon that they have out now is probably the same price as this, which is like twenty bucks. So that's a good thing. I also used in my tutorial um, the LA Colors um, blush. I picked this up. This is Peach Rose, and it's actually pretty pigmented. It's um, actually pretty good. I kind of like that a lot. And this is what I have on my cheeks in my tutorial. Don't mind my hair. I'm gonna do a tutorial in like probably like a couple hours. I will be taking this down probably today or tomorrow. I'll talk about that later though. Anyway. But yeah, so that's basically all right now I think I want to talk about. So I definitely at the time I will recommend if you want to try like a cheap look um 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 look store makeup this is Clinique is really good it's it's really light it's really nice don't get me wrong I still like my cover girl queen I actually like my cover girl queen better than this but I mean if you want to try like had a backup makeup this is like really nice it's really good and I would definitely keep wearing this because I'm gonna wear this a lot more um just to see the feel of it I like I definitely love this though but 
and also I was using my um my elf brush complexion brush in there too in my video so just so you know um I'm waiting on I have another shipment coming in too I have like the whole collection of elf brushes shipment coming it's supposed to be in today I don't know I've been waiting on it I don't know if it's gonna come in today or tomorrow but they kind of made upset me this time with the shipment because it took them like about three four weeks just to not three four weeks but like a whole week to um process my credit card for it and i'm looking like the first time i um did it they processed it that day and they shipped it out in like three days and it was here but this time it like actually took them like a week to process my credit card and then after they processed my credit card it took them like another week so i've been waiting on this the shipment for like about basically ever since I had got these lipsticks and I reviewed them to you guys so that's and that's basically how long I've been waiting on it so yeah so stay tuned if you want to see how I achieve this look, eyeshadow look here um stay tuned and you know what forget it. I'm gonna throw this in um yeah so basically I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on my um this hair about it's called um you know and i'm with the last night <laughs> thanks <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just kind of like talking up a story right now i think i had too much coffee this morning but anyway stay tuned um if you want to see the eyeshadow look um sub have a nice day oh you know what first of all i want to show this to you i love this bracelet this is what i have on today this is from avon here I gotta be really fast. This is the ring I have on, and these are the earrings. And I have on like a little baby doll shirt and the little multi tone necklace. I got this from Carson. So I just want to throw that in. Um, like I said, sub, subscribe, subscribe, sub, listen, channel, whatever. You know what I mean. Have a nice day.